Welcome to my humble abode, aka the Crap Shack, complete with dirt roof. Uh, we really need to improve this place. <laughs> and um, I'm going to apologise first off for not having an episode last week. I was uh, pre pretty busy, to be honest, and didn't really have much time, but hopefully have a, a lot more time coming up. So, first things first, dirt patch there. You need to sort that out realized after filming the episode actually that I could just have all the ooh, all the pumpkins and melons on one side instead of scattering them about and then just have all the sugar cane down here so I think that's an idea um, but I think we need to expand really um, I think before we start trying to go you know umpteen million blocks away uh, trying to find this thing I think we need to expand this because it's it's not very good <laughs> at the moment so uh, I think first things first we're gonna need a lot of wood to expand this place I, I'm liking the look of this right now uh, I want to add an upstairs but with uh, some functionality we need to get back into uh, we need to be able to get into the mine which is there <laughs> So maybe have some sort of ladder down there, I don't really know. Some sort of thing that gets us back down into the mine. And uh, yeah, first things first, we're going to need wood. And to make wood, you need trees. And so I think that's a good excuse as any to start on the tree farm. So where are the saplings? Uh, do I have any oak ones? Must have oak ones. Birch. Oak saplings. Am I missing them? Pine. Oh well, we can always go get some more. There's some oak wood. Alright. I'm going to go try and set up the tree farm and I'll get get back to you when that's done a bit more. I'm thinking of putting it out, out here somewhere. Yeah. Ah, uh, good start, good start. <laughs> mm. So while I cut down this tree for uh, some saplings and we wait for them, I thought I'd explain why there wasn't an episode last week because I, I do feel bad about not putting one I really 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 want to put an episode out uh, Cam what are you doing up there? don't jump uh, yeah, I really wanted to put an episode out but I just didn't have time uh, I'm currently sitting my A levels at college um, I know a lot of my audience is from the US and I think it's the equivalent of your a APs I think they're called advanced something maybe I'm not really sure what it stands for uh, but I think it's the equivalent of them so I'm 18 at the moment and these are my exams but they're pretty serious business uh, so I've been busy with them but I've managed to find some time so I'm going to try and record at least one episode uh, and just thanks for all your feedback on the other episodes as well it's been absolutely brilliant uh, it really couldn't be better um, one thing I did want to say is that I haven't been doing nothing to do with Minecraft while I've been off. I've been um, thinking about a lot of stuff. I've actually drawn out a plan of how I want to expand expand the base. Uh, so I have a rough idea of what I want to be doing, um, sort of how I want things to look. And has this not dropped a single sapling? Wow. Um, what sort of things I want to be doing and sort of roughly where they are. And I'll uh, I'll post a picture maybe, or maybe I'll put it in the description or something or on screen of uh, what, what I've drawn out. So I do have a rough idea of what we're doing, I've got it planned out, and I'm really looking forward to the 1.5 update, the redstone update. Um, I don't really want to play in the ch snapshots, just in case something bugs out and we lose the world. I mean, I know I haven't really got started much yet, and... Uh, uh, it doesn't. I could always just back up the world or something, but it's just that chance that something goes catastrophically wrong <laughs> and everything just sort of disappears. This isn't going to give me a single sapling, is it? 
Um, so I've drawn some stuff out and I'm looking forward to the 1.5 update and one of the main goals that I had was um, sort of but maybe before mainly after we've defeated the dragon to automate the world and I had an idea for sort of maybe if you're in a mine and uh, you know you're sort of digging around and you can put some stuff in a, a minecart chest and you can send it oh yes sir. you can send it off and it will go back to our base and it will go in some sort of mine cart chest dispensers type thing uh, Seth Bling did a video on it a while back I think um, but now with hoppers uh, that's completely awesome. I mean, we can do the same thing, but we can just filter it straight into chests, and uh, I think it's going to be great. I'm really, really looking forward to it. It'll help us quite a bit, I, I hope. Uh, already the end of, of day nine, <laughs> so I'm just going to run home quickly. Uh, I don't think I'm going to sleep. I'm going to go caving, try and get some more resources. Resources? Resources. Gonna try and get some more stuff, <laughs> and uh, maybe I'll make a temporary ladder or something, and I'll catch up with you guys afterwards. Where I can hear him. Oh my god! Oh. Really? <laughs> Actually, I think I might leave this because if I'm going to try and collect every block, I could silk touch that. That'd be pretty cool to have somewhere. Uh, I don't have a bucket for you, but I'll be back later. Where are you? There you are. music. A chest. Ooh. Melons. That reminds me. I should probably head back at some point and uh, <laughs> carry on with the farm. It's probably time to head back. <laughs> now how do I get back? My god, I'm gonna starve before I get back. <laughs> Food. Oh, that was close. That was too close. <laughs> However, we are back. Uh, what's the time? It's actually just going to night. Ooh, got a pumpkin. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's go harvest it. First harvest. Mm. Well, I got plenty of stuff. I got uh, 26 iron, 5 gold, some redstone, and the cave massively opened up when I got down there. Really didn't think it was as big as it was. I uh, should probably get a second furnace going. Uh, hmm. I'm going to quickly plant, quickly plant those trees so that we can go harvest that in the morning and then I think we should go and sleep it off. We also need to make some more tools but I'll just put all that away from now. Just get some sticks and get our saplings. Probably going to change uh, the sort of layout of this eventually. Uh, obviously it's, it's quite basic at the moment. It's just these 
trees. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can place spruces on something like that. So I'm just going to place them down there. Um, I was thinking of having spruce trees and jungle trees sort of at the further back at the uh, maybe sort of another sort of section, not on these sort of rows. Have it at the back of the tree farm. Uh, got any bone? Bone meal, bones? Bone meal! Awesome. That's always annoyed me actually that uh, when you shift click something into your inventory, it always goes to the last available slot. Also, on fast graphics. And uh, let's turn the music down as well. That was annoying. But on fancy. Oh yeah. We're getting fancy. Let's quickly just bone meal these, bone meal these, bone meal these. Uh, so I'll show you what I mean by the the leaves in your face. So if I had grown that at this level, then uh, those leaves could have been lower down. Uh, it's got more chance to make a bigger tree as well. If it's higher up. So i put it along there. And also if I just plant loads of saplings, I can then just walk backwards along this, just holding bone meal and spam it and grow loads of trees. So I'm going to sleep this off cut those down and then we'll start expanding on the house. So I've got pretty far with building, uh, I've got most of the upstairs done, just need to finish off the roof, just taking quite a lot of wood. Wood farm is working well, I've only really got oak trees set up at the moment, I haven't even got enough to finish off the fence. <laughs> um, planning on having a little balcony here so we can see you know, how the, how the tree farms go in and stuff. And then up here, I think I have just enough room to have bookshelves under here and down here and then just on the back with a enchanting table I think it'd have to be here and uh, that would give me the maximum of level 30 and then obviously I can put uh, things in front of the bookshelves to change it say I want to do something else so I'd really like to get an enchanting table so that's going to need uh, obsidian and diamonds now I'm going to have to get diamonds to make a diamond pick to get the obsidian in the first place so I think we're going to need 5 diamonds and I think it's four bits of obsidian and then just a butt ton of books. Uh book recipe change oh melon. Book recipe changed recently and it requires leather. Now there are some cows over in this direction that I know are there. I think there are some over here as well. I haven't really explored over there, but over there and there are definitely some cows. So I think uh once the house is finished and it's uh, all sealed up. I'm going to start with the bookshelves. I've got plenty of reeds. They're growing out in the farm at the back. So we just need to get the cows. I don't want to kill them all off. So we're going to actually have to breed them. So we might as well start on the, uh, the animal farm as well. Are you meant to break melons with... Ooh. I don't know if you're meant to break melons with uh, axes. And I'm also adding a couple of, of aesthetic things, so um, I'm making lots of bricks. I don't think I actually... Do I need any more bricks? I'm not sure I actually need any more. I think I might need 
two more bricks and then terracotta pot. I want it, I want this house to look nice. Nice and homely. So uh, I've also installed a little sort of window up here. Uh doesn't really do too much from this side. You can kinda see out. Uh can't really see much, but maybe we'll build something there. That'd be cool. And uh this side I can just hop over here. Uh this side I've got a little chimney. I think if I do can I can I do that? Go up, break these two blocks. And then go up one more block. Flower pot. Oh boom. That's like a top of a chimney. <laughs> so I think from the outside the house looks pretty good. Uh, I kind of want to match it. I've got this little thing going down here, so it looks like it's almost supporting, supporting, <laughs> supporting the balcony. Uh, but I think I might have a fence all around the perimeter. Uh, maybe even extend it all the way out the back, so then we can have maybe expand the farm even. I think that'd be pretty cool. So all I've got left now is chop down these trees, finish off the house. Uh, which is mainly just the roof really finish off this do the farm and uh, see if we can fit anything else into this episode just been down to the mine shaft and I found out where the mob spawner is uh, because I've got a plan for that actually. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have some sort of uh, XP grinder type thing so we can get up to level 30 pretty fast and uh, I just looked at coordinates for it and it's at 521 minus 8 so right here uh, I don't actually have any building blocks on me, uh, but what I plan on doing is having the the mobs come up to sort of ground level, maybe build a platform out here or something connecting to over there, and uh, they'll come all the way up and will be dropped down, and their health will be at uh, one heart, so then we can just punch them with anything, don't have to use tools, and uh, get all the XP from it. Uh, something else <laughs> I also just realised, I was looking through the footage to find uh, when I recorded it, and the whole time I've been recording this episode at half size instead of full size. Uh, so, uh, this video might be in 480p instead of 720, which is what I'm trying to put them out. Uh, so, sorry about that, <laughs> it's a fault on my part, but yeah, we're going pretty good. I'll give you a quick update. The Still haven't done much with expanding the farm. Uh, pumpkins growing quite well. Melons don't seem to be growing as fast. I don't know whether they rates are slower. Tree farms doing great. Just need to finish off the fence still. Upstairs is pretty much all finished off. I put out this little bit that sort of comes out. Thought that looked pretty swish. Still need to get some more of that. Uh, the bookshelves and that done. But for that, I've captured some cows, so now I can get their leather. 
got my mini cocoa bean farm going on here so that's going pretty good and uh, yeah I think that's about everything what I've got so far so I'm just going to grab some blocks and I'll dig down and try and get this, this mob spawner type of thing going Well, fuck. This is coming along nicely. I've got uh, this all laid out, so uh, once I take down all the torches, zombies will start to spawn. They'll uh, spawn somewhere in this area. They'll get washed down into that point. And then uh, I need to make a water elevator to take them up to the top. So I've forgotten to make signs. <laughs> so going to use more of our wood resources to uh, make loads of signs uh, get a couple of buckets of water and just go back and place all of them and then uh, we'll have a fully functioning XP grinder got the easy bit over with now, uh, it's all built, I've got a tunnel going up to here and now it's just the, uh, it's the tedious part uh, I've placed it in the wrong place as well if you want to ever make a sort of mob grinder type thing like this, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, this bit I'll go over now, seeing as I'm here. Uh, you just need to put a sign every other block, all the way up to the top. You can also use fence gates, I think, but I've always just used um, sand posts because they're a lot easier to do. Uh, fence gates, if you right click on them, then they open and close, and then things can't pass through them uh, so it's a bit annoying but yeah can I get that? Can I? no I can't get that just post, post all these all the way up and then uh, put the water in between oh shit ah oh, water uh, put the water in between so like put water here and water here and you'll just float on up or in this case the zombie will float on up trying to get out of the water and uh, eventually end up at the very top where we'll make some sort of drop type thing for them and uh, they'll fall all the way down to one hit over here I've got a 9x9 nine nine area so from the mob spawner it's four blocks out in either direction put water down in each corner and uh, dig two blocks down and then where the water finishes you dig those blocks out and dig another layer down and that's pretty much it, they'll flow down here and they float straight up Okay then guys, I think that's pretty much everything for this episode. Uh, we actually got quite a lot done. I don't think I really talked much, but we've expanded on the house. We've got tree farm, kind of got a cow farm going on. Uh, hopefully we'll get some chicken and sheep soon. Uh, still need to finish off this border. Oh man, haven't done that. Uh, over there you can see those torches in distance. So we've almost got our mob farm set up as well. So everything is right on track. Uh, farm's looking good too. So next episode, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I really, really, really want to get into some of the new new redstone stuff. So hopefully 1.5 will be released. If not, i kind of tempted to just go into the new snapshot. Uh, play around with some of the hoppers and stuff. And maybe set up a 
uh, storage area, maybe maybe over here somewhere where we can send uh, send minecarts, get a bit of redstone going, and uh, I think it'd be pretty cool. Alright then guys, thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you again next time.